So, hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Jeff Marks from Scatterlight Studios, and I'm demonstrating the Nokia Video Director app. When you arrive in the app, uh, the first thing you want to do is, is make a new video. So you, you click on that and give your video a name, and it takes you through some simple steps uh, in which to make your video. It brings up your entire video library. These are all your clips. So you simply choose which clips you want to add to your video just by swiping them. And then you see they appear in the timeline. Then you click next and it takes you to set your style of music. So you have a number of different uh, preset styles you can choose from and each style has uh, additional mood options so you can customize them even further. So for example, you could choose the vintage style with the Technicolor mood. And each style also has a music cue associated with it, or you can select any music cue you want from your library. And then you can customize the level of the music here. And finally, you add an introductory title and an uh, end title, if you would like. And then you hit preview. And so in three easy steps, you've just built the video. And how long does rendering take? Say it depends, a five-minute video. Uh, it long. depends on what styles you've chosen and, and the, the, what quality you're rendering at. If you're rendering full 1080p, it's going to take a lot longer than if you're rendering a low-resolution video. Um, and it, oops, it depends how many cues you've selected and so forth. Yeah. So uh, in this case, uh, we only have two clips, but it's set right now in high-resolution mode. I should have dialed it back for you. Well, actually, it's still pretty fast, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so it's almost done with that little. So now it's, it's uh, rendered, and you have your preview. And what can you do with the video in terms of sharing and uh well right now um it's um it's only set up to share right now via email but my understanding is they'll be adding additional sharing options shortly uh, but it also when you create the video it saves to your device and then of course you could then upload it to anything from there oh, okay. as well so from within the app right now um it only gives you certain options so here's where you choose your final render of what quality you want it at and you can even choose your own frame rate or resolution if you like and then uh, once you uh, save the final version, you're able to share it. Uh, but once you've created that basic version, if you want to further customize it, you could come in here. And for example, let's say you want to reorder the clips. You just drag them, reorder them. Or if you want to uh, trim the clip, you, maybe you want to show this section of the clip. Oops, I'm sorry. You go into, like the customize. Let's say you want to trim the clip so you're, you're showing this part of the clip here. So you can set your in and out point. And then of course you can adjust the volume levels for this independent clip as well. And, and add captions on the And yes, itself. you can, and then of course oh, you can okay. add a caption to each clip and a sub caption. That's pretty uh, impressive. I think, uh, especially for Windows RT, I don't think there's any other app like that. It's a minute for, for Yeah, and it, it really, it gives you a lot of advanced features, but it also is really easy to use. So. Anyone from a small child to maybe your grandmother could make a video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so you mentioned about sharing from the phone. Yeah, and then so and then you have um, you have the ability to transfer if you shoot video on your phone uh, using the NFC. You can. There's a companion app, Video Director Companion app, and you just go into transfer mode, and then what you're going to do and let me back up so you can see. You have to bring it up in. Well, I have to wait. I'm sorry. Wait till it's done rendering right here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show me that uh, app in the meantime? Yeah. So I mean, this this app is um, designed uh, on the phone. It's designed simply for for shooting video and transferring it to the app. So you can go into video shooting mode here, where then you you know you're just shooting with the camera app. But once you've shot your videos, uh, then you have your camera roll here, and then you can transfer them directly to the Nokia Director app on the tablet for ending. And so let me take you to that here. So if you come back out to the main menu and go into transfer mode, and then we should be able to just line these up with the NFC chip. I can just see what's in. Okay, perfect. And it can take video from uh, from your whole video, your camera. You don't have to record a video in app no, itself. You, don't. Anyway. you can and you can do any video that is on your tablet, whether you could shoot it with a different phone or mm -hmm. a professional video camera even or any any device you want. Yeah. And then as long as it's in the in yeah. the library on that tablet you'll be able to use it. And the output is uh, MP4? I, it, it uses MP4s natively, but I, uh, 
I don't know what other format it's for. And what is it? What is it output? Uh, MP4. Uh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. That's been very good. Yep. Thanks.